Welcome, welcome, reading the Bible with me. Uh, I don't know, man. Something's wrong with it. Uh, yeah, let me leave this up. I want to call after I do this. Because the website is down. Oh, them type of issues. <clears throat> um, thanks for being here. Something I thought about the other day that's random is uh, breakups suck. Um, you just, but just know that nothing is an accident, right? It happens for a reason. Now, next time you're more, you know what I'm saying? You're prepared, you're better prepared for the situation or, you know, that's a flag that you, you can't, you can't rock with. Like, um, Yeah, you, you're you're a quicker assessor of the situation. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna try not to get, cause I could go in a whole. That's at least ten minutes, just that situation. But yeah, breakup sucks. But you know, we learn from it. We get smarter. We get wiser. Um, we you know we get better. And you see, as the you know the longer you live, how that was just preparation for the next step, right? Like. I know with my job now, it's uh, they like a lot. They like a lot of research, development, a lot of notes, a lot of copious notes, and man, I got a lot of that from back in the day working at the Sprint Call Center. <laughs> but shout out to my boss lady there, super uber hard on me, <laughs> and the other dude too. I forgot his name that I was on the phone, you know, shooting the, with the with the customer, and uh, it was like. You are laughing too hard. <laughs> you need to turn it way down. Matter of fact, don't laugh. Customers say joke, you don't laugh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Sprint Call Center, man. Uh, my homeboy got some uh, Sprint Call Center stories, too. <laughs> uh, funny. Song of Solomon 5. This the, if I were to New Year's next door, it's still going on here. All right. I have come into my garden, my sister, my promised bride. I have gathered my mirror along with my balsam and my spice from your sweet words. I have eaten my honeycomb with my honey. I have drunk my wine with my milk. I have not tried that one. Uh. <laughs> My fault. Eat, friends, drinking deeply. Oh, lovers. I was asleep, but my heart was awake. A voice in my dream, my beloved, was knocking. Open to me, my sister, my darling, my dove, my perfect one, for my head is drenched with the heavy night dew. My hair is covered with the dampness of the night. All right, so let me... So that was Solomon talking, not a bride talking. I went to sleep, but my heart was awake. A voice in my dream, my beloved, was knocking. Open to me. Yeah, that's a Caesar song. Open up to me is what he... My sister, my darling, my dove, my perfect one. For my head is drenched with a heavy night dew. My hair is covered with the dampness of the night. I had taken off my dress. How can I put it on again? Mm, here you go. Are you trying, little buddy? I had washed my feet. How could I get them dirty again? My beloved extended his hand through the opening of the door. My feelings were aroused for him. <laughs> I arose to open for my beloved. And my hands dripped with myrrh and my fingers with liquid. Sweet scented myrrh on the handles of the bolt. I opened for my beloved, but my beloved had turned away and was gone. My heart went out to him when he spoke. I searched for him, but I could not find him. I called him, but he did not answer me. The watchmen who make the rounds in the city found me. They struck me. They wounded me. The guardsmen of the wall took my shawl from me. I command you, take an oath, O daughters of Jerusalem, if you find my beloved, as to what you tell him, say that I am sick from love. Sick from being without him. 
What is beloved more than another beloved? Oh, most beautiful among women, what is a beloved? What is your beloved more than another beloved? Okay, so let's catch them. What is your beloved more than another beloved? Uh, oh, most beautiful woman, what is your beloved more than another beloved? Uh, that you should command us to take an oath. <laughs> okay, I got the flow. I got the flow. Okay. Uh, she keeps talking. My beloved is exquisitely handsome and ruddy. Outstanding among 10,000. Dang, he's standing out like that. His head is like precious gold and pure gold. His hair is curly like cluster of dates and black as ravens. That's black. His eyes are like doves beside streams of water. I've used that in a rap. I've said something like, well, I've said similar. <laughs> I'm trying to take credit. Bathe in milk and repose in their setting. His cheeks are like a bed of balsam. Banks of sweet, fragrant herbs. His lips are lilies. Dripping sweet scent and myrrh. His hands are rods of gold set with beryl. His abdomen is a figure of carved ivory. Inlaid with sapphires. This is very detailed. This is real love right here. This is your down chick. This is it. I got a song. I got bars. I got bars. I can't just read. I have to, you know what I'm saying? I have to read with looking for the, the intention behind the words. This is this is down chick. His abdomen is a figure in, inlaid with sapphires. His legs are strong and steady. Pillars of alabaster set upon pedestals of fine gold. His appearance is like Lebanon, stately and choice as the cedars. His mouth is full of sweetness. <laughs> yes, he is altogether lovely and desirable. I would use that. Um, you know, if you're asking for a dude, like you're looking for that dude, you know, ask that he is altogether lovely and desirable. You can even ask for some of this other stuff too. I don't see why not. You being a child of God, God wants you happy. He wants to have you. Uh, he wants to give his child what the child wants. Yeah. I mean, I'll be asking for stuff, yo. Okay. All right, I'm going to read the course and then we're done. We're gonna, we'll start back at uh, six. Where has your beloved, begone, beloved gone? Oh, oh, most beautiful among women. Where is your beloved hiding himself? That we may see him with you. I like it. Yeah, I like it. It's dope. Okay. Till next time.